Time to play with some clay. Do the same thing on the back toes as I did on the front toes, and I'll uh, make a division. not going to get much time to work today because I had to go to Bozeman to get some supplies. I sold some more DVDs and I ran out of ink and I can't get ink here locally so I have to go to Bozeman which is a 120 mile round trip to uh, get that and uh, so that's uh, cut into my day quite a bit. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I've got nine sets of DVDs on how to sculpt and I've uh, put over 50 years of my experience and knowledge into those DVDs so they're well worth the uh, expenditure and it helps keep me going okay now he's got knuckles right above the toe. Got to be careful, don't want to make it too big. Hmm, looks weird. side toes don't have knuckles. I'm going to go ahead and put them on. As you can see, the knuckles look like that. It's a slight little knuckle right there, it looks like. So, it's not a huge knuckle, but that might be too small. looks too big. What I'm doing is I'm thinning out a piece of clay, real thin. And 
and I'm going to lay that onto, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Seems to be okay. What I'm doing? Okay. Well, that's working out okay. What I'm doing is I'm taking the oil from the skin of my nose and uh, pressing on the uh, clay, and that. Uh, keeps the clay from sticking to my finger and because it's thin it forms around the little protrusions that I put in there. Now, sorry if the camera angle is not the greatest but I don't have somebody to handle my camera for me so I kind of have to do it myself. Now see, I'll come back and I'll smooth all this out. Besides that, it's going to have fur. I mean, if you look at the, uh, the drawing, it's got quite a bit of fur around those uh, feet. So we'll do the same thing with the feather foot. And I think it's about all I'm going to be able to do today because i got to get my dinner ready. One toe. I don't like using the GoPro only because it doesn't record on one continuous bit, bit of video. It divides the videos up and then you got to find which video is which. It's not very good for keeping everything uniform like my cannon but it's what I got for now third toe and then I'll put the fourth toe on here At least I can see it recording because the little red lights, <coughs> the little red lights flashing. So I want to check something. I want to make sure this foot isn't any wider or narrower than the other foot. There we go. Teresa sent me this pair of calipers from. Texas after I did a workshop down there and she had one of these and I really liked it and so she got me one thank you Teresa her and her husband own a ranch down there they got some great kids She also owns one of my bronzes now, too. Which is kind of cool. Actually, it's a big honor. Okay, there's that knuckle and that knuckle. Do the knuckle over here. You got to do exactly what you did on the other foot can't do something on one foot and not do it on the other. How's that look? Looks 
pretty good. I'll work on the muscles and the uh, bones and the tendons of the leg next time. But for now, I just want to get this uh, the paws done, so to speak. Let's see. All right, let's get that thin piece of clay made out. I mean, really making it thin. Because if you don't make it really thin, it won't. Uh, form over the uh, little doohiggies you stuck on there. What you're doing is making skin. Okay. I think I got it just about right. I'm going to lay it down. Press it just slightly. Get some oil off my face. It's a little trick I came up with years ago. A little shortcut. Ah, it looks like a foot now. Okay. I'm not going to put a lot of detail in I'm just going to finish it off and call it quits for today. And I was thinking about this all the way from here to Bozeman and then back from Bozeman to here. And that's why I just had to take a break and do it from making my DVDs for the mail tomorrow and work on this. All right, that's the, I'm, I'm holding the camera in my hand now, so that's why uh, whoop, it helps to get where I can see the dog in it. I'm holding the camera in my hand, and so it's not as steady, but it'll work. And as you can see, the dog is starting to take shape. I got the paws. And I was really sweating those paws. Let me show you. Down here. Paws are turning out. I'm going to have to do a little detailing on the, uh, the paws, of course. But uh, the back paws are different than the front paws. The back paws have that big knuckle, and the front paws don't have that big knuckle. Anyway, I've got work to do on the base of the whole dog and uh, all that stuff. I think what I'm going to do is take a moment here and bring over the mountain man and the uh, Indian woman and see what this, well, actually I think I'll just take it over there and put it with the uh, figures and see how it looks. Well, I don't know how good you can see this. I do have a lot of backlight on there. But the uh, dog's looking good. It's going to be a good ad addition to the uh, piece. I'll just keep working on it and uh, I'll get it finished eventually I'm going to leave uh, the dog there for now and uh, just live with it for a day or so and then I'll come back and work on it some more give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video alright see you next time